All right, guys. So last night, Callum Smith versus Matthew Bowderleek was confirmed. And I just wanted to do a quick prediction video on it and give my thoughts. So earlier I went back and I watched um, Matthew Bowderleek versus Igor McAlkin. And Matthew Bowderleek is a solid European level boxer. Um, I wouldn't say he's anything special, to be honest. I, I just think he's solid European level. You know, he's sort of the level of fighter who wins an EBU title. And he did put in quite a good performance against McAlkin. Um, Igor McAlkin pulled out in the corner after round seven. So, yeah, it was, it was a good good performance. And he is a solid boxer. He's one of these who you know will never go on to do anything on the world stage, but he's going to be, you know, a good EBU title holder. So he hasn't got elite level power or anything. And one thing that will probably, that will definitely uh, cause him problems in this fight is he's got a fairly weak chin. Um, obviously he got knocked out in one round by um, a journeyman, a Romanian journeyman. Um, so what it was, he he was coming forward, pressing the guy, and uh, he walked onto a shot. He got dropped, and then he got stopped. So he's clearly not got the best chin in the world. Like, the guy he fought doesn't have a high knockout percentage or anything. He's just a, you know, journeyman, sort of ranked in the top 100, just about. Um, so he he's clearly got some vulnerabilities there. He hasn't got the best durability. Now, Callum Smith, obviously Callum Smith um, is an elite level uh, puncher. He's got a great counter left hook um, and he's got a pretty good straight right hand. So, if he catches Bowderleek, it's going to give him problems. Um, and he could definitely get the stoppage in this fight. One thing that's interesting is Callum Smith has been outboxed before. Obviously, in this fight against Eric Scogland. And also in his fight against Luke Blackledge. Um, he was getting outboxed in those fights. Um, he's never had great defence, Callum Smith. And um, in those fights, especially against Eric Scogland. Like, Eric Scogland in, I think it was the World Boxing Super Series quarterfinal. Um, he was piecing Callum Smith up with a jab. And it looked like, you know, if he would have pressed the fight a bit more, it looked, maybe he could have got the stoppage in that fight. But uh, he went on to lose on points and... Um, he got knocked down. So, obviously, Callum Smith hasn't got the best defence, and he's proved that he can be outboxed before. Um, since those fights against Eric Scogland and Luke Blackledge, um, Callum Smith has changed trainer. Obviously, he used to be with Joe Gallagher. Now he's with uh, Buddy McGirt, and we haven't really seen much from him. We saw um, a good performance uh, in his last fight. Against the guy Dimitri Bivol fought, um, he knocked him out in two rounds with a a great right hand, um, and he looked good doing it. But we haven't seen much of him under his new trainer. So how do I think this fight's going to go? Um, I think Bowderleek could have success in this fight. Um, I think he could potentially outbox Callum Smith for a few rounds. Um, but uh, I think he'll eventually get caught, and I think he'll get knocked out. Um, I think Callum Smith's power and his size will tell in this fight. And I think he'll get to Bardalik mid to late rounds. So thanks for watching, guys, and God bless.